So, this is sort of an update to a previous Let's Rant I did a while back about Bioware and the state of Anthem. That video was filmed about a year ago, and the VIP demo, the open demo, and the full release have come and gone. How did those go? I guess this is how it feels to be a little bit wrong, but mostly right. Now, let's first start off with a thing I got wrong. I said there was going to be loot boxes, and there isn't. EA and Bioware have both come out and said there wasn't going to be loot boxes. Of course, they did this right after the whole Battlefront 2 fiasco, so I suspect they were there before, but probably got removed from the final release. Regardless, there are no loot boxes, in Anthem, period, full stop. However, there are some things I was right on. One, it is painfully obvious this is a rush job. While the gameplay core is solid in my opinion, there are so many glaring issues. So many, I'm wondering if Bioware didn't scrounge up a C team that looked at the Andromeda folks and told them to hold their beer and began to demonstrate how to really botch a release. It would have been bad enough if it had just been repetitive mission structure and a lackluster endgame, but no. Bioware had to go and mess up the fundamentals of a looter shooter, an open world experience. What kind of open world game doesn't have waypoint markers? Every open world game you can think of has had these except Anthem. Let me remind you, Bioware has experience making waypoint markers in Dragon Age at least. Then they decide to make the most obvious, overpadded mission with the Tomb of the Legionnaires, which is just a four-part quest that requires you to complete tedious challenges, such as 50 enemy kills, kill 50 enemies with an ultimate, and get 10 multi-kills. These are the exact same trappings every other open world looter shooter has suffered from. All Bioware had to do was go and look at others in the industry and tell themselves, wait a minute, players hate this. Let's not implement missions that only serve the purpose of padding out a shallow experience. They didn't. Bioware even decided to overachieve in the realm of incompetence by having masterwork loot that is worse than the very first gun you get. Literally, as of recording this, the starter gun is the best gun in the game. Also, Bioware didn't feel like letting Fallout 76 be the worst looter shooter on the market. Right now, Anthem can literally crash your PS4 to a full shutdown. In some instances, it bricks it with the only fix being a start to safe mode and rebuilding the PS4's database. If you avoid that somehow, your PS4 will come back on cranky because it thinks you shut it down improperly. How do you do this? How did this get past QA? What the hell, Bioware? Now you probably expected me to say I was wrong about EA implementing crappy microtransactions in this game and other crappy monetization practices. Well, looks like I might still be on point for that, even with no loot boxes to be found. EA did their Premier Access shenanigans on this game like they did with Battlefield. Certain purchases and certain memberships mean that you got to play earlier than others, and if you want to know when that was, EA had to provide a spreadsheet for you to figure that out. That shouldn't be a thing. This doesn't need to be an industry standard. There is no point for new players to buy the game day one because not all potential players will be in yet. Sure, you got some experience earlier, but here's the thing, Anthem is a co-op game. That means if you do get a head start, you now have to carry newer players in missions and activities. Because I love to beat Dead Horses more than Michael Jackson actually loves to beat it, let's talk about the actual microtransactions. Thankfully, a leak right before release prevented Anthem from having $20 skins, but they are still using these stupid Fortnite limited time offerings to encourage 
people to buy them since they will either have to grind for them or miss out. I hate this system. If it was a static store, I would be okay with it. But no, cause we all gotta be like Fortnite. I wanted this game to be successful. I wanted it to steal Destiny and Warframe's market share. But literally, it just makes me want to play Warframe. This is embarrassing and heartbreaking. The studio that made my second favorite franchise is getting hammered every day. And the sad bit is they deserve it. Sure, you can blame the microtransactions on EA and the shallow gameplay due to a tight deadline, but all the issues, too many to list, reek of incompetence. I have no hope Bioware will recover. I am tr tired of trying to see if the Bioware of old is coming back. They aren't, and this Bioware isn't even doing enough to earn the name Bioware. They either need to get their act together or just come to terms that EA is going to dissolve them soon. I'm done. I'm off to play Ace Combat because at least Project Aces knows how to make a game.